Yes, they come into tonight's game just 4-17 and 17 on the season, but Franz Wagner, the younger brother to Mo, who we're used to seeing with Orlando. Mo now coming off the bench for the Magic this season. And B stops at the free throw line, back to Tyrese. A little two-man game with Joel. Embiid fading and hitting. I love the fact that they're staying aggressive, trying to attack. Got to make those. Carter does it want the wing three. Wagner does. Let's fly. Leaves it short. Embiid grabs the rebound. Our Sixers. We're going to make him our Taco Bell take. 40 and 10, as we know. That's remarkable. Just that whole list. <laughs> Doc and AI on there as well. We leading all of them. Will regain possession and reset. Bamba guarding MB. Maxi off the screen. Knocks down the three. Right shoulder turns, squares up, and knocks it down. And the first 30 point game of his career against Orlando. 12 2, Sixers here. Eight minutes to play in the first quarter. Magic have dropped six in a row and nine for their last ten. Joel fading away. Orlando has missed its last seven shots. That's why Sixers on a little 10-0 run as Suggs able to draw the foul. 11 points, four rebounds in those final 12 minutes from Toby alone. Big part of why they were able to push the game to overtime. Seth Curry fading and hitting. And he's with the youngest team in the league trying to teach and be a mentor. Yeah, that's got to be tough. Doctor. Off the mark from three, Embiid another rebound. We talked about this being a not so great shooting team. Do not bail them out with fouls. Make them make shots. 17 2, Sixers run. A couple of substitutions for this Magic team who are still pretty short staffed, partner. A lot of the guys who they're hoping to see former Sixer Markel Fultz, Michael Carter Williams, a lot of guys still coming back from pretty intense injuries. They're not playing in little field houses anymore. These are all major arenas. Mismatch down low, and Toby takes advantage. That time finding Harris. And it's similar to the conversation we're having about Tyrese trying to figure out when to shoot, is Joel. I don't think he wanted to do that, and it still almost went in. I don't think he wanted to do that, and it still almost went in. Harris, the steal. Sixers have numbers. Danny sets his feet. Doesn't get it. Joel there for the putback. I don't think he wanted to do that, and it still almost went in. Harris, the steal. Sixers have numbers. Danny sets his feet. Doesn't get it. Joel there for the putback. I don't think he wanted to do that, and it still almost went in. Harris, the steal. Sixers have numbers. Danny sets his feet. Doesn't get it. Joel there for the putback. I don't think he wanted to do that, and it still almost went in. Harris, the steal. Sixers have numbers. Danny sets his feet. Doesn't get it. Joel there for the putback. Cole Anthony comes back. The coaching staff has a decision to make. Both young players just one year apart. Toby turning the corner. Raising. Off iron. Joel fighting down low. Harris comes away with it. Cole Anthony comes back. The coaching staff has a decision to make. Both young players just one year apart. Toby turning the corner. Raising. Off iron. Joel fighting down low. Harris comes away with it. Maxi had to let that one fly. Shot clock was about to expire. Three minutes to go, first half. Wagner drawing the contact. Embiid battling down low with Carter Jr. Carter Jr. is a strong specimen, so he doesn't mind mixing it up. He's used to it. He battles a lot in his Bulls days with Embiid. They Just played within himself, and it's been effective. Joel. Cerny can't get that typical baseline fade to go. 55, 40, 56, 49. Wagner sneaks one up. No good. Rebounded by Embiid. He'll bring it up the floor. Embiid's going to try and drop. And you see your free throw attempt leaders. Joel Embiid right behind. Giannis Adetokounmpo. From the charity stripe so far this season, almost 83% as a squad as I jinx Embiid and he misses the second. <laughs> Sorry about that, Joe. Well, about
is a young team, inexperienced. You can pound them. The 76ers just letting him stay in it. There you go. Joel able to fight his way through the double and lay it up and in. Talked about Wagner and his versatility. A little 2-3 zone for them. Wagner among all rookies. Top 10 in every category except for steals. Bamba with a block on MB. You're supposed to ease your way into this league. Just taking it by the horns. Leading all scorers, Suggs with a steal. And the jam. And as he's still waiting for his offense to get going here in the NBA, that's one thing that he is not lacking. Very good on defensive ends. Buckets like that help your offense, too. MB, tough shots, can't get it to go. Shot clock at five. Embiid wants to take it. Almost triple team there at the foul line. Yang at the buzzer. Needed that. While the Magic getting their points quite easily. Joel falls down to his knees, somehow scoops it out to Seth, who knocks down the tray. Perhaps fatigue setting in. This is a team that's played a lot of games with not a lot of people in the lineup each night. Carter Jr. off the heel. Amber Jr. off the heel. And B will bring it up. I wonder how much those minutes are starting to take a toll. Joel. That one. Matisse to Joel, doesn't want the three, and steps back. Even tougher shots, around and out. Suggs grabs it for Orlando. Tough, tough shot. Carter Jr. all over him. Suggs short on the floater, and then he will foul Embiid. Wagner, a big part of that 35-point third quarter that got the Magic back into this ball game. Looking to get going here in the fourth. Taking Maxi off the dribble. And Tyrese blocks his shots. Get going here in the Dennis fourth. Taking Maxi off the dribble. And Tyrese blocks his shots. Good recovery by Tyrese defensively. Joel taking it end to end. But he'll get called for the offensive foul. Get going here in the Dennis fourth. Taking Maxi off the dribble. And Tyrese blocks his shots. Good recovery by Tyrese defensively. Joel taking it end to end. But he'll get called for the offensive foul. Number three on Joel. Hey, Wagner keeps the dribble, looking for Carter. And that's going to be number four on MB. Guarded by Joel, five to shoot. Going to go at him into the lane. And the swat by Joel. Shot clock about to expire. Able to hit rim. Good block out there by Maxi on the backside. Absolutely, right now in a little 2-3 zone, but I think the underlying question is, can anyone catch 22? Wagner with 22 on the night. Embiid fading off the heel. Carter Jr. with it. Embiid asking for some help. Driving, trying to kick it out to Harris. Foot race, Wagner gets to it first. Euro step and misses the lay-in. Doing the same thing, changing ends quickly the other night, and it worked for them. Magic doing the same. Harris. Can't get the layup to go. MB the offensive rebound, and then Joel is fouled. Joel with a chance to put the Sixers back in front. 48.1 to go as he drains the first. But as you mentioned, Bamba there for the emphatic putback. 2.6er lead, 48.1 to go. The Magic want to talk things over. Point away from again tying his career high. Not that time, Embiid, good block out and rebound, and Carter Jr. forced to foul. A little flat on the free throw, but it counts all the same. Got to get a bucket, don't have to go for a three if you're Orlando. No, just as well, this is fine. Here's Wagner, driving, and blocked by Joel Embiid, and Embiid comes away with it. And Joel is fouled. And that'll just as well. This is fine. Here's Wagner driving and blocked by Joel Embiid. And Embiid comes away with it. And Joel is fouled. And that'll bring it back in front of him, right to JoJo's face. No doubt catching up with Joel a bit. How could it not? How could it not? No matter what you do at home for those three weeks, nine games he was off, there's nothing like basketball.